this video is gonna be sort of like a talk through. I wanted something summery. I know I wanna do something yellow because I haven't done anything yellow for this summer. Disregard how freaking dirty my vanity is back here. The girl been humping it. I haven't had a chance to really clean up anything. My room is really in shambles. I wish y'all could see, but. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my eyes. Since this is like a really bright color, it'll kind of be hard to show up on me because y'all know I'm a little chocolate, I'm a little brown baby, okay? To kind of get the shadow something to stick to, I'm gonna use my NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Medium. This is one of my favorite products to prime my eyes with because it is so thick. Whatever touches it just sucks onto it like a sponge. Maybe I can cut this fan on, boo, just tap it hot. <laughs> and I'm gonna just apply that with my little buffer brush and buff it in all over my eyelid. I have done a yellow look similar to this um, on my channel maybe a year ago, but it's so outdated. Ooh, did I bring that too high up? Probably, it's okay. Boom. So, the next thing we're going to do is, we're not going to set that. Nope, we're not going to set it. First shot I'm going to take is going to be a light yellow. Y'all know my Morphe 35C palette is my baby. I use this for literally every single eyeshadow look, only because it has every single color that you would possibly need in it. This and my BH Cosmetics palette, I live for. This palette is sold out, so you probably won't be able to get your hands on this unless you find it on eBay or Amazon or something. But I know they're gonna try to charge you an arm and a leg and a forehead, so find you a palette that's similar to this that has all these bright colors and you're good. I'm sure Morphe has something similar to this, but it's just not called 35C palette anymore. But So we're gonna first jump into this yellow right here. I'm gonna apply that with my Wet n Wild Big Fluffy brush. This brush is actually from Dollar Tree. Any Wet n Wild brush you may see me use on any of my videos are all from Dollar Tree or Walgreens, mostly Dollar Tree though. Should I zoom y'all in? Uh, yeah, and I'ma just go ahead and first start off by packing, okay? Maybe packing isn't gonna work. All right, now this brush is officially trash for this particular look. <laughs> We're gonna use my Morphe Y15 brush just to kind of pack everything down. This is gonna act sort of like our transition because it's not really gonna be too bright. We want you to see that we're gonna have something going on with some yellow. And for all of you that came and gave me some good supportive feedback from my last makeup tutorial, thank you guys so much. Believe it or not, making makeup tutorials kind of scares me. It's not supposed to be a chit chat, but we gonna chit chat, might as well. Also, my hair reviews. How are you guys feeling about my hair reviews? Y'all know I can never stick to anything and keep it traditional. Um, So y'all know I've been making them into hair vlogs and making them, you know, a little entertaining for y'all and for myself. They're really, really fun to, um, they're really, really fun to film. Not that I'm gonna stop the hair vlogs, but I just wanna get you guys input on if you are really enjoying them. This is actually a very, very quick eyeshadow look, maybe five minutes or less than that. We're gonna jump into my Coastal Scent Shadow in the shade Cantaloupe Slice. And this is also a Wet n Wild brush that I got from Dollar Tree. I am finally gonna film a vanity tour. I know somebody's gonna ask about the room tour. My room is nice right now. To me, I'm content with it being this way. I just know I have a little bit more work to do in this room. You already know I'm gonna bring y'all a very lit room tour. <laughs> this next step is not a part of the plan, but I do feel like it may be a little bit necessary. I kind of want to deepen my crease. I'm going to take another Coastal Scent Shadow, Oktoberfest, and I'm going to take that. Some type of brush. It came with, it came for me in a set from Beauty Big Bang. If you guys have not seen that video where I featured the whole brush set, um, I'll link it down below and above in the cards as well. It's like this nice little marble brush set. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that, and then we gonna blend it in right in the crease. Crease, no crease. Crease, no crease. You can't do that, no ma'am. Just on the outer part of the eye. Make sure to bend it out a little bit into the outer part of your lid. And I think that's it for the little eyeshadow. Mm, let me do the bottom lash line while we're already here.
Now I'm gonna take some mascara. Any mascara will do, um, but I'm gonna take my LA Class Perfect Lash. I got it from Friendly Dollar, I think. For lashes, I'm gonna use these Icy Lashes that came with my Icy Hair. Um, This video is sponsored by Icy Hair. Thank you, boo. <laughs> but I thought it would just make sense to just use your lashes as well. Plus, they're really, really cute. I'm loving how these hair companies are stepping up their lash game. They're not sending these Barbie doll lashes anymore, which is great, because y'all been wasting y'all time. Nobody wears those. Are these mink? What are these? Oh, no, baby, they say mink. Y'all know I can never get my lashes right on camera, so I'm gonna come back once this is all together, and we're gonna work on the rest of this month. Okay, all right, all right, okay. They definitely don't really look mink, but they're definitely looking synthetic, but they're cute for the look. I want to add some freckles. Um, I haven't really done freckles in a long, long time, so I'm kind of scared that they might come out looking really muddy, but I'm gonna try it anyway. We are gonna take the darkest brown in the 35C palette, which is this one right here, take a pencil, and I'm going to dip it into that brown and attempt to make some freckles. I don't feel like digging in my blushes right now. I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild blush brush and I'm going to dip it into, I think I'm gonna dip it into this peachy shade. Yeah, I'm gonna mix the peachy shade with the orange on this side and see what it gives me. It looks like it's just taking the freckles away. It was a good try. As far as my lips, I am very unsure of what I'm doing. Look at my free spray in the bag. <laughs> I want something subtle. I'm gonna take my Too Faced Sweet Peach Gloss in the shade Tickle Me Peach, and I'm gonna apply a little bit on my lip just to, kind of, just to have like a little bit of an orange sheen to match my blush. This is very pigmented, so if you do use this exact product, Use a little bit, and it does smell like peaches. Like, just don't lick it, cause it's it's gonna disappoint you. Trust me, I, I speak from experience. <laughs> I'm gonna kiss the paper towel a little bit, cause I feel like I put too much on. Right. Over top of that, I'm gonna add my Revlon Lustrous Lip Gloss in the shade Sandstorm. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go do something to my head and change my shirt, and I'll be back for the finished look. This is the finished look of the makeup. I'm loving how this turned out. Even though it's simple, it's summertime sexy. This is cute. Hold on, I'ma curl it, I'ma curl. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the channel down below. Join the Beehive gang, the Beehive fam, because we are lit and we are never, ever bougie over here. Do you understand me? Now you guys wanna keep in contact with your girl because I'm your best friend, you're my best friend, we're all best friends. So add me on Instagram. I mean, what? I will leave every single item that I use today in today's video down in the description box, as well as the links and information to this hair that I am wearing. A big thank you goes out to Icy Hair for sending me this wonderful wig. I am in love with it. If you guys have any further video suggestions, comments, recommendations, please do not hesitate ever in life. Leave those down below in the comment section as well. And as always, you guys already know this, I love every single one of you. But my lovelies, until next time, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded.